Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving for grades 3 plus and ages 8 to 9. Today, we'll be solving the problem using estimation. Problem 14. Certain packages that weigh up to one pound can be mailed for $3.85. Minnie sent three of these packages and paid the postage with a $10 bill and a $5 bill. Estimate to decide if she had enough money left for a $3 lunch. Explain how you made your estimate. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Certain packages that weigh up to one pound can be mailed for $3.85. So here is a package and it weighs one pound. And the mailing cost for this package is $3.85. Minnie sent three of these packages and paid the postage with a $10 bill and a $5 bill. So here's the second package with the same weight and same mailing cost. And here's the third package with the same weight and mailing cost. And Minnie paid with a $10 bill and a $5 bill. Estimate to decide if she had enough money left for a $3 lunch. Explain how you made your estimate. Since we are using estimation over here, then we will use rounding to find the cost. So $3.85 is rounded to $4. And again, $3.85 is rounded to $4. And then also $3.85 is again rounded to four dollars so the approximate total cost is four dollars times three equals twelve dollars and the money given for postages is ten dollars plus five dollars equals fifteen dollars So the money given for three packages is $15. The approximate mailing charge is $12. So the money saved approximately is $15 minus $12 equals $3. So Minnie has enough money for buying a $3 lunch. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part, and that is... Make your own word problem. So look at, so let's see this example that I made. My mom gave me ten dollars and told me to go and buy some accessories. In the store I saw a rate list of items as hairpins for three dollars and twenty cents, a headband for one dollar and fifty cents, and a crown for two dollars. And 75 cents. Can I buy all these items with the money I have? In this way, we can use estimation or rounding to find if we have enough money to buy some things. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. For please like. Share and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.